Wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait, wait, what? What? It's Spider Man comic books. Good luck, Beta. We'll right be there back with him. Right after the performance, okay? <laughs> You're in the new game theory video? Wait, on um, what? I'm in the new game theory? Wait, I'm into what? Wait, 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 what? I'm in the. Wait, MatPat knows who I am? Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. 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 What? You don't follow me. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Go to go to the thing. I'm in the new game theory video. Wait, what game theory video? Which one? Wait, which game theory video? This one's seven days old. Oh, this one. This one? Wait, am I, wait, am I in this one? I'm in it? Wait, what? I'm in the video? Wait, really? Wait, what? Really? Wait, actually, though? Wait, really, really? Bro, wait, where? Okay, I gotta say, I gotta preface this. Game Theory is one of my favorite YouTube channels of all time. I love Matt Pat. I met him at VidCon uh, a few years ago. Um, and by met him, I mean I was in the same room as him. Um, I actually sat next to his wife. I didn't know it was his wife at the time, but I, it, uh, you know, it was like, it was like, he's right there. Dude, that's crazy. I, dude, why? Hold up. Wait, what? Oh my God. Where Poppy Playtime came onto the indie horror scene and took YouTube by Mommy's Secret Army Storm. Felt like everybody was playing it, theorizing about it, high-fiving it. High five, Huggy. Boom. High five. High five, buddy. High five, buddy. High five. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god, dude, 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 that's crazy! I'm in the vid- Like- High five, I missed. So of course, when the trailer for chapter 2 dropped a couple weeks ago, you blew up my Twitter asking for a theory. So for the last month, I've been digging through the trailer, the merch drops, the secret leaked closed circuit Woo! television footage, all to come up with the answers. And regardless- Dude, I'm in the video, that's crazy! What the heck, dude? Of whether I'm right or wrong about Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, one thing we know for sure. We're gonna it's be like they know who I am. Like, wait, who did they put me with? They put me with. with. High five, buddy! High five, buddy! Moist Critical five? and then Creecraft. Oh my god, dude! They put me with all the big people. This is honestly one of the coolest things ever. Like, I, look, I know I'm a YouTuber, I know I'm a big YouTuber, but, like, oh, man, it's, like, I still freak out whenever, like, you know, like, the people I watch notice me. It's like, oh, my God, you know, that's crazy. That's crazy. We gotta watch the video now. You blew up my Twitter we gotta watch the video now. for a theory. So, for the last month, I've been digging through the trailer, the merch drops, the secret leaked closed circuit television footage, all to come up with the answers. And regardless of whether I'm right or wrong about Poppy Playtime Chapter... I, I, Two, one. I, we'll finish Star Man. I, I, I gotta watch this. I gotta watch this. I gotta thing watch we this. know for sure gotta we're gonna this. be dealing with some serious big lady energy. Oh, you big. Oh, you big lady. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory. That is a big mommy. <laughs> the show that may not be able to give you a grab pack But will still let you high five that subscribe button And welcome back friends to Poppy Playtime The one game to finally understand how terrifying old toys really are Didn't really need a creepy indie horror game to tell me that all those American girl dolls secretly come to life at night Oh Houston's I hate those I hate those eyes just pierce into my soul I hate oh, those It's too realistic Hard pass Last time we explored the old abandoned toy factory of Playtime Co We walked away with two major predictions 
predictions about where this franchise is headed. First, we concluded that some of the former employees were experimented on in order to create living toys. And not just experimented on, but that their flesh and organs were actively used as the materials to create parts of the toys. Some were willing participants in this, namely Stella Graber, who I believe is now the creepy living doll Poppy Playtime. Others were less enthusiastic about the process. And as a result, the ensuing toy was just a wee bit less friendly. My second major prediction was that our game's title character, Poppy Playtime, wasn't actually the villain of the story. Unlike every other horror game in existence, where the title character is always out to rip the flesh from your bones. Instead- I miss Slenderman so much. Slenderman was so cool. If you were alive and on the internet during 2012, Everything was Slenderman. Everybody was playing Slenderman. Everybody was talking about Slenderman. Slenderman was the, 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 the bee's knees, man. Here in Poppy Playtime, Stella's human desire to make children happy and live forever meant that, now reborn as a toy, she just wanted to escape the factory to fulfill those dreams. Because of this, I guess that she would serve as our guide throughout the facility as we tried to solve the mystery of the factory's missing employees. And hey, if you listen to the Chapter 2 trailer, it seems like we weren't that far off. Terrible things have happened. Where do I even begin? You're in grave danger. She's watching your every move. So you better be careful. Mommy doesn't like guests. That's Poppy's voice, definitely warning us of what's ahead. So I'm gonna personally consider this one a win. Look, I, I just gotta take what wins I can. Okay? I can't believe I'm in the video. Between. So now that we've proved Roblox got to be sued, very what? Okay, hold on. We got to do. There's so much stuff going on. We're going to watch this video, then we'll look at Roblox getting sued. Okay, hold up. Clearly dialed into the storyline for Poppy Playtime. What do we think's coming down the pipeline for Chapter 2? Let's just say that Mommy Longlegs here is going to be looking Hello, much different by the end Mommy. of this chapter. But to understand how, <laughs> we're going to have to look a bit closer. Since she was the big reveal of the trailer, I think it's fair to start there. First and most importantly, yes, her name is officially Mommy Longlegs. I'm not even making that up to ride whatever weird trend gaming's having right now with a large deadly women. This official name was actually revealed in, and I... I, I, I he's on to me. He's on to me. Oh my god, he's on to me. They're on, they're, everybody's on to me. What in the world, dude? The, it, <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna have to say this, but it was revealed in the NFTs that this game released. <laughs> <laughs> feel dirty just saying it. Here's the thing, Mob Games, creators of Poppy Playtime, yeah, they made these things and they hid lore behind them, which is totally not cool. They the made NFTs and everybody was like, Time to die. And they say, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Delete. 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 Chapter two coming soon. The only reason I'm comfortable talking about these things is because the fan backlash was so strong against it, and they sold so poorly. Seriously, they made like 30,000 of these things, and they only sold like 600. That mob games learned their lesson, and they've gone on record saying that they are not going to do NFTs again. So, I, we're watching you. I'm gonna hold you to that. Anyway, in a completely awesome move, the channel Terrico bought one of each so that no one else had to, and shared them all on his channel so everyone could see what they were missing. And it did give us important important lore information. On the front of each card was a Playtime Company toy, and on the back was a corresponding date. I can't believe they sold the story <laughs> as an NFT. That's crazy, man. You want to know what's going on? Buy this NFT us to form a complete timeline of the toys releases by Playtime Co. Poppy Playtime was the first, released in 1950. Bron the Dinosaur was next in 1961, followed by Candy Cat in 1979. Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy were respective in 1984 and 1985, and finally Boogie Bot was the most recent in 1993. Okay. This timeline actually reinforces our previous theory, probably the only thing to ever come out of NFTs, where we guess that- Wait, they only made- Poppy was the first major hit for- They only made one toy in 20 years? 1961, 1979. It took them 20 years to make one toy? That's crazy. What, what, am I getting something wrong here? Like, what, what in the world? 20, 20 years to make one toy? Playtime Co. because of how eager Stella was to be turned into a toy, but that at some point, the company lost the secret to her creation, which is why every toy that follows her becomes a monster. In addition to forming a timeline, though, the NFTs also ended with voice lines reading out letters. <laughs> See, with the last of the batch giving us a code that we'd need to solve. Y-M-N-L-I-O-S-O-N. 
N L O M G B N F C G Y G S. Assembling all the letters and unscrambling them, you get the phrase, Mommy Long Legs is coming. Yeah, definitely not a puzzle worth the $90 it takes to assemble all the NFTs. $90! Again, huge shout out to Terrico as well as all the other creators who I saw do something similar with these NFTs and made them available to the public. Okay, so Mommy Long Legs is clearly our next big bad. A giant spider with stretchy legs, but what exactly is their plan? Well, let's think back to chapter one. In chapter one, we learned that there's been a series of experiments to create these monsters. I'll go through the donations here at the end, don't worry. If you donate, I'll, I'll read it, don't worry. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments. It's just I'm in this video and I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. Huggy Wuggy was the last, Experiment 1006, but he was also different. As we saw in the game's first trailer in a split-second lore reveal, Huggy didn't need to eat in order to survive. Quote from the trailer, Despite his digestive tract being wired properly, the prototype finds no necessity for sustenance, unlike the others. All other experiments can only survive while subsisting on much larger portions. And in this new chapter, it looks like we're gonna see these previous five versions of Huggy. Wait, so Here, they actually so eat people? whack a mole against three differently colored colored huggies trying to crawl out of the pipes. See how many empty pipes are here? Wouldn't surprise me to see two more variations crawling out. And just like we heard about in the tapes, these guys probably hungry considering that all the employees of the factory went missing 10 years ago. That is a long time to be waiting for a full meal. Mommy Longlegs is also going to want some food. When she sees us in the trailer, she says, A new planet. It's been so Notice the slight head twitch, the change in her voice as she tells us it's been so long. <laughs> yeah, she seems she's up. not scary, you know. It's just like it's, 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 it's she's not scaring me. Unhinged and hungry, she's just hoping that we are quite literally a fly in a web, just like the chapter's title says. But if these creatures need food and lots of it, I, I'd let her eat my foot. Yeah, why not? in order to survive, then how are they all going after a decade without any visitors? Well, for that answer, we actually turn to leaked closed-circuit TV footage that was revealed as part of a past Poppy Playtime merch drop. Cause let's face it, once you've had yourself a wildly successful 30-minute gameplay demo for your horror concept, it's not about winning over the audience's trust by getting a fully fleshed out, mechanically sound chapter 2 out right away. Why your foot? Because my foot's always sweaty and nasty. It's always stinking. So like, if it's not there, it can't stink, you know? It's about franchising opportunities, fam, NFTs, merch, plushies. Man, I'm just impressed that they showed enough restraint to work on the actual game long enough before the publication of their first novel trilogy. Anyway, when this merch website went live, it came with three different CCTV camera feeds from inside the factory. We can tell that this is a live feed because camera 01's in the main auditorium where we first see Huggy, but Huggy is noticeably missing. So these feeds are clearly leaking after he tried to maul us to death in the vent system. In the beginning, these camera feeds Poppy Playtime is going to be the new Five Nights at Freddy's, isn't it? Also, yes, I know Mimic Book 2 is out. I, I, I will play it. We will play it in this live stream, okay? It was kind of there. Nothing all that exciting. But after 10 days, things started to happen. On camera 01, a broken and bloody cat bee toy appeared in the middle of the room. The blood isn't super surprising given the whole people are toys thing that we already talked about. Bloody toys were strewn across the factory in chapter 1. The interesting part is actually what happens next. Another three days go by and suddenly the cat that bee toy is missing with a trail of blood leading out into the darkness. Around the same time, we see this image of a spaghetti hand coming out of the machinery. These details, plus the fact that we see Mommy Longlegs drag a Huggy Wuggy doll into the darkness at the start of the Chapter 2 trailer, tells me that the larger monsters are feeding off of the other toys. Remember, some, or maybe even all of the toys are made from people. That's why they leave behind pools of blood when they're injured. As such, it can all serve as healthy snacks to keep Mama alive. In fact, we actually see pieces of brawn and boogie bot hanging from the webs around the factory, much like flies trapped in a web about to be eaten by the spider. We also see this caterpillar enemy chasing us through a jungle gym setup. Wouldn't be surprised if mommy winds up devouring that thing too, like a spider eating an insect. All of that just tiding her over until she can finally get herself a proper meal, us. But for all the spider imagery, there's one weird detail. Mommy Longlegs only has four legs. I mean, even my favorite- She's got more legs in her abdominal muscles. Multiplex spider. Music man. He had 
six. But I think that her four legs act as a clue for what's going to happen to her throughout the chapter. Mommy Longlegs was clearly inspired by the real world toy of Betty Spaghetti, a toy that was huge during the late 90s and early 2000s. She too had rubber limbs and hair that you could manipulate, but the key part was that she was customizable. And I don't mean that you could just style her hair. Her body parts and hair were actually removable and swappable. For instance, her ponytail could be swapped out for slinkies or yarn. And of course, you could accessorize to your heart's content. If mommy is taking these broken toys and eating their organic insides, maybe she's also collecting the fabric and plastic bodies to create more limbs that'll make her stronger. There's some weird toys out there, dude. There's some weird toys add to her arm count. In fact, in the trailer, there's a small detail that I bet most people overlooked. There are these small little dots on Mommy Longlegs' arms and neck as she crawls towards us. It's not a rendering or modeling issue. That is just like the dots that we see on the Betty Spaghetti dolls. Dots that help with the toy's customization. In short, if you think that Mommy is threatening now, just wait until she puts on the rest of her arms and starts filling out those holes with equipable accessories, like a boogie bot head that's ready to cave your skull in. Other things to point out here from the trailer, obviously the caterpillar, like I mentioned. There also seems to be a flower enemy hidden up in the ceiling. The what? huggy we see mommy grab at the beginning of the trailer isn't the huggy that chased us from chapter one. You'll notice there's no blood on the floor and it's small size relative to the size of the floor tiles. So this thing is likely a random huggy doll that's used for effect. But before we wrap things up here, there's still one more time. Piggy got deleted? Wait, hold on. What is going on on Roblox right now? Dude, hold on. People are telling me all this stuff that's going on on Roblox. What in the world is going on? What? what? Piggy didn't get deleted. It's right there. What are we talking about? topic that I wanted to focus on today, and it's the character that we actually started this whole theory off with, Poppy. Well, the internet's been distracted with Mommy Longlegs, Poppy is still here, and she's talking to us throughout the entire trailer. And what she's saying, or more importantly, what she's not saying, may actually be pointing us to the main plot of not only this chapter, but the entire game. As I pointed out earlier, Poppy seems to be guiding us throughout the game, but just because she's helping us doesn't mean she's actually the good guy. Take a listen to these two lines from the trailer. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. Poppy saying, we're See, even she calls me perfect. I feel so good. Too perfect to lose lines up with what we theorized about last time that she's the one talking to us throughout the death screens. It's not your time to die. Don't die just yet. It's too early to die. All these screens show us that Poppy wants us alive, but her reason for that seems unclear. Sure, throughout chapter one, we got notes and death screens that seem to be focused on us saving the missing employees. There's more lives at risk than just yours and all that. But in this new trailer, there's something uneasy about Poppy's tone. Something obsessive. It's like she's planning something that we aren't aware of. We theorized last time that all Poppy wanted was to be free out in the real world to bring joy to children. But what if we were only half right? Just because she wants to bring joy to children doesn't technically mean that she has to leave the factory. What if Poppy is trying to bring the factory back to life? At the very beginning of the game, we get a note telling us to come to the factory and find a Poppy flower. But after finding the flower, all the literal writing on the wall tells us to not go in. Why why would we get a letter? This guy's such a nerd. I love it. I love it, dude. I love it. From the employees telling us to find the flower only for them to then tell us to stay away once we actually get there. It doesn't make sense. It only makes sense if that first letter is from Poppy. Notice those spelling and grammar mistakes? That letter is from her. It was sent to us to lure us in. She wants us in this factory. She needs us in this factory. Listen again to our lines from the trailer. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. She describes us as perfect. In the death screens of chapter one, she calls Huggy wonderful. He's good, but he's not perfect. Poppy must therefore be aware that both Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Longlegs are the failed attempts to recreate the magic of her own birth. But someone who came back to the factory despite the horror stories? Someone who came back with a good heart that wanted to help those who were not trapped? Me. That is suddenly someone that she can work with. As far as we know, Poppy's the only experiment to truly work. The only toy that managed to not turn into a monster through the toy conversion process. And if she truly wants to spread joy to all the children of the world, it would make sense for her to want to restart those experiments, to turn the factory back on, to create more living toys like herself. But it all needs to start with one pure soul. It needs to start with us. That's why she doesn't want to lose us. Not just because we can free her and remove the obstacles standing in her way, but because in her eyes, we can become the new patient zero. We can be the Ken to her Barbie. My guess.
Yes. I, I don't want to be the Ken Chapter Harbor. after chapter of toy related horror headed our way. In the end, Poppy is going to turn on us. She's going to betray us. She's going to turn us into the next generation of toy. By winning the game, we ultimately lose. But hey, well, Mob uh, Games wants you to invest in NFTs to unlock the lore of this game. With our sponsor today, Public, you could invest in stocks that'll give you some what? real value. Public is an app built to help you invest in the That's right That's crazy, things really? Right time. I'm going to be honest with you. Investing was always really scary to me. I was raised by parents me too. who taught me that you invested your money into your mattress. Literally, you hide it there. But what I've learned over the years is that you actually have to have your money working for you by what? investing in smart ways for the long term. Not That's anything so crazy. Super risky That's so crazy. I will do that, Mad Pat. Thank you for putting me in the video. That's so cool, man. Okay, all right.